guys. I'm out at Tiffany Falls today and the last time I was here it was an incredible frozen waterfall. Today it is raining <laughs> and beautifully beautifully green. Lots of water flowing because of the rain. It's absolutely gorgeous and I've only just gotten on the path. So I don't have much time. That would be because I spent most of my morning daydreaming and planning for my <laughs> astrophotography trip to the Mojave Desert in Palm Springs. So I did waste a lot of time doing that, which I think dreaming is never a waste of time. So now I don't have much time. <sighs> since it's almost June, I think we're gonna see quite a bit of water flow, especially since it's raining. This is beautiful. For now, I have on my 70 to 300 and I'm just going to be taking pictures as I go, handheld. Oh, it just smells so amazing. The forest, the leaves, the trees, gorgeous. So under this canopy of trees, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put it on ISO 800. And since I have on a long lens anyway, probably f4.5 or 5.6 depending, and hopefully that'll give me a fast enough shutter speed. It's nice, but it's a waterfall and I'm not in the mood for a fast shutter speed. Whew. Okay, yeah, this is pretty spectacular. There's a bunch of trees here with the water flowing all around it and I'm going to stop for a moment and see what I can get. I don't know if I love this composition, but the cool thing is that with ISO 50, I don't even need to bring out any filters. ISO 50 and F22 is giving me six seconds. ISO 50 and F16 is giving me at least two seconds. So I can smooth out the water and I don't have to worry about getting out any extra gear, which I love. <laughs>
For me, it's never about the gear. If I can get away with not using gear and just having my camera and just enjoying what I'm seeing and capturing it just in camera, I'm very, very happy. I need to get closer and see what else I can see. Beautiful, I haven't even hit the main falls yet. The trick with the waterfalls to find the right subject just because you have beautiful flowing water and gorgeous trees and everything around it doesn't mean that it's going to make a good composition. So you actually still have to have something that is a focus in your composition and I haven't quite found it yet. But I have some ideas. There are some beautiful rocks, there are some leaves, there are beautiful downed trees. I don't know. <laughs> Oh darn, I'll just have to keep trying. <laughs> my exposure value down a little bit because the white parts of the waterfall are getting a bit blown out and I can tell this because of the uh, histogram that I have turned on afterwards wow okay this is not a frozen waterfall oh it's absolutely gorgeous today oh my goodness oh I have to show you this shout out to Tim Day. Tim, you have to come here. This is amazing. If you've never seen Tim's waterfalls, you have to check out his channel. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing.
All right, this is awesome. So what I'm excited about is I have this really big rock in the water. It almost looks like a boat, but it's not a boat, it's a rock. And I have this tree with this curly stump that's right behind it. I'm trying to use that as an interest and a foreground going into the waterfall in the background. So I'm not getting quite as close to the waterfall this time as I have in the past, but I just, I really like this composition. I also have a bit of light reflecting in the pool in the foreground and I'm hoping to just bring that out. It looks really neat. So my settings are ISO 50, F22, and 20 seconds. I'm still at minus 0.5 of an exposure value. It's so cool. <laughs> Here I'm working on trying to get some interesting foreground and I really love all the rocks and uh, yeah the rocks and the water perfect combination oh wow that may not have been much time, but it was so worth it. So I had a high depth of field with those photos because I didn't want to do any focus stacking. Uh, I just don't feel like it. I just want to enjoy this beautiful walk and this day. And it's just gorgeous. The water is flowing. And now I have to go. <laughs> See you soon guys, thanks for coming along, bye!